Hey guys, my name is Cineac and welcome back to the Disease Skyline experimental video where today we're going to answer the question that nobody has even asked Can you build a city with only placing down residential zoning? And that means having no commercial, having no industrial zoning Is it functional? Now the few things I can already kind of answer myself is One, they'll move in but they've got nowhere to work and make money. So we're gonna find a way for them to make money. If they can make money, they will stay. Now, lucky for us, the cool thing about this game is they work in services buildings like police stations, fire stations, hospitals, crematoriums, and stuff like that. But we can't place enough down to support a small population because we'll be spending more than what we're making. So we gotta play it really safe. We can probably, you know, involve some parks and landmarks i don't know if they contain people that work there but we could also use some of the industri industrial in industries can we say the word industry um uh, dlc pack technically it's not zoning so we might be able to get away with that slightly we'll see how things go but we're gonna see if we can build and support a city solely on residential we'll leave the industry stuff till last just in case we can't make it but it's gonna be quite fun so guys, if you enjoyed this experiment and you want to see more experiments like this in the future, then make sure you smash that like button down below and let me know in the comment section too what experiments you want to see in the future as well. Now, this is Arid Plains, the uh, DLC map. Um, the one we actually use for uh, Fool's Town, believe it or not. Which looks so different right now when you kind of uh, view it with nothing on. <laughs> it looks kind of weird, man. Uh, but anyway, right, we're not spending any money. We got a super demand mod on anyway, just so we can have that constant influx of residential, just so I can give it a good chance of trying to stay alive. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is we're just simply gonna create a roundabout. Create a simple roundabout because I'm trying to save some money. We'll try and save as much money as possible. Get rid of these little bits here. Set the highway connect to it, then we do a road going off it, and we'll build up our small residential zone. We'll first see how he kind of goes without any anything supporting it. And then, once we find out it's not working, which is uh, not going to be that long, <laughs> we, we try and figure it out somehow, in or you know, some way, shape, or form, uh, to try and keep it up and running. So, if I just kind of do a road to go down, which that length is perfectly fine. Again, I don't want to create too much... Um, outgoings for me in a two-lane highway let's kind of go out and then bring one in if it will allow me kaboom and uh, just get a little bit of a bend on okay so this is going to be this is to kind of solve the traffic because i have a feeling we're going to have a constant influx of people because people are going to move in and they'll probably eventually just move out so if i can just kind of sort out the traffic flow from the beginning because i feel like we're going to have constant traffic with the people moving in and moving out which is going to be hilarious so we'll get um, some form of well, a, a, some orderly form down, so it's not completely chaotic, and we'll just try our best then. So I'm trying to go for the low roads, the uh, low costing roads, if that makes sense, because I'm just trying to keep it cheap, trying to keep it as cheap as possible, and. Um, it's, it's just see what happens. <laughs> That's the best way I can explain it. Keep it as cheap as possible and see what happens. So, let's go across. Is it just two across? One? No, it's three. Boom. Kaboom. So, why don't you give me some predictions in the comment section right now to how you think this is going to go. My personal opinion on how it's going to go is uh, they'll move in, realize there's nowhere to work, and then move out. I might have to keep some population uh, with some of the buildings that we do place down. Um, you know, like the ones that want to become police officers or, you know, firefighters and stuff like that. Uh, we'll be able to keep those, but not we're not going to have thousands of jobs available. That's why we could probably get away with still doing the uh, Industrials DLC, uh, adding that in, because technically it's not zoning. It will give us some jobs. But I want to leave that to last. I want to see how far I can go without adding that in. That's still not being classed as cheating in a way, but, you know, I want to try and give it a good go. So this is the base I want to set up then. So I'm spending 400 um, a week right now as it is. 
So I'm going to try and be as efficient as possible with these pipes, because obviously everything is now an expense. And in a, in, a, in a world where I don't know whether we're going to be making money, I'm just going to see how it goes. So for water stuff then, we'll try and keep it nice and simple. We'll go, should I just go over a simple water pump station? How much is this one a month? Okay, it's not actually that much more. So that will kind of guarantee me lots of water. It's this that's going to be a lot of money. The uh, sewage outlet. So 640 versus this one at 560. We'll go with this one. Place it further down. And we'll go with good old wind power to power them. Because it's nice and cheap. And we'll... Oh, we need to hook these up, the water up now, don't we? So straight there. Straight there. So they're going to be up and running now then. They're going to have the water. They've got the power. Let me fast forward. Yeah, they've got water yet, guys. Yep, there we go. Sorted. So we're already spending 1300 a week, which is already crazy money. Uh, but there we go. So we need actual constant power for the whole place. So what I'll do now then is I'll bring this to here. And then we'll kind of go this way. And what I'll do... Is, I was going to create a bend, but I got a better idea just to kind of have this go up like that and then slightly stick out a bit. Because what I'm going to do now then is we're going to use the garbage stuff that I kind of like like to use. Uh, this one, no, is it this one? Like, doesn't cost us anything pretty much. I'm sure the upkeep was zero before. I don't know. But we drop this down anyway because that will give us the garbage trucks. Does it have water? No, we don't. There we go. So that is pretty much all I need right now to kind of get this place up and running. So let's start placing down some zoning. So I'll go with high density to begin with because I know that's going to be where I get the maximum amount of people living in there. And again, we're not having any commercial or industry or anything like that, or like zoning, so to speak. So this is all as it is. So we'll kind of keep it to that for now and see how it goes. It's going to be really interesting. So we're not going to have power for a long time. So not having power could make it look a little bit confusing to why we're not making enough money or anything like that or why people are leaving. But we just got to wait till this plate, this uh, garbage thing over here starts producing power and then it will start running the city. And then we're all good. We're all good at that point. So there's going to be a lot of people initially moving to begin with, but it's down to worse to try and make sure that they stay. So we'll just kind of see how this goes first before I start adding in places to work and stuff like that. Um, this might give some work, the incinerator place there. It might give some form of work. How far away is that anyway? It's quite far. So I'll place down a wind turbine just to kind of get it up and running in a sense. So now then we just play the waiting game. On one, getting garbage to the incinerator to produce power. But two, for everybody to move in. So we're about to break profit. So we are breaking profit right now. But... If we can keep our resident, like our population over 4,000, we'll always make profit at this level. But I don't have everything that we need to have it as a fully functional city, so to speak. And it'll be interesting to see... Um, I, do you know what's another thing? Well? We probably won't get the upgrades that we would normally want um, to the buildings because we don't have the services, we don't have the commercial stuff, we don't have the industrial stuff to kind of keep them up and running. So that will be fairly interesting to see how that kind of uh, turns out. So let's, um, are they going, yeah, they seem to be pretty fine with the older uh, turning stuff here. How's it going over here? Is it all good? Yeah, they're kind of merging further up the road. So it'll just take a while for them to fully actually move in. But I feel like we might bottom the population. Oh, is the, has it just got power? I feel like it was producing power for a second there. I feel like the population will bottom out around about, hmm, 7,500 to 8,000 once everyone's moved in. That's my guess. I don't feel like this is a 10,000 population square that we've created at the moment. But you never know. We, we've always been surprised in the game and stuff like that. So the traffic does back up only to, to where they're there anyway. And it backs up to... Oh, I guess it goes quite far back up here. Just to here. Okay. So there's not much more traffic that needs to actually fully move in. So this is really interesting. Then. So this is the issues we're going to have now then. So police. They need policing because the criminal stuff would drive them out of the city anyway. So let's build a police station. I'll keep it nice and simple. 
because obviously I don't want to spend too much money just yet. So police station, we'll have a simple fire station, we'll have a crematorium just there and a simple health clinic. And they've all got water? No. There we go. So they're all in, which they also will provide jobs to uh, some of the residents, so not everybody will fully move out. But it's got the services that it kind of needs to begin with. So everyone's still moving in, which is pretty cool. It's surprising me how much, um, how many cars there are for such a small, concentrated population. It's interesting, isn't it? So, if we find now a citizen, so if I zoom in, um, so this, this guy here works at the incinerator plant. Interesting. This one is unemployed, unemployed, unemployed. So, we have some workers, you know, there's two there working at the incinerator plant. So, at least some of them will stay because they can earn money and stuff like that. Where does that pop up um, our un, um, unemployment? Uh, okay, wow. So, it's, let's just round it up to 60. 60% 60 of the population is unemployed. For the few buildings that I do have down, has managed to employ 40%. That doesn't feel right. But then again, it's slowly increasing anyway. It is going up and up and up. Uh, the unemployment rate. So we've managed to give <laughs> um, 2,000 jobs. That's, that's kind of blown me away a little bit. With how many jobs those small buildings do provide. That's really interesting. So this experiment could be a little bit easier than I once thought. So we might be able to, providing that we can watch the balance, because obviously the more service buildings you place down, the more you build up your outgoings. So you've got to find that fine balance. But it seems to be going pretty well at the moment. I'm still surprised with how many vehicles are moving in. The cube is still all the way up there as well, isn't it? So that, that surprises me quite a bit too. So if I can designate these roads more, so this one and this one are solely turning roads and that's a straight road. So they can get their lane management sorted out. Should be a bit easier. But yeah, this is fairly interesting. I'm impressed, guys. I am really, really impressed. Okay, so it's actually, do you know what? We might actually get to 10,000 population. So unemployment's now at 60%. So we've got to find ways in which we can... Because that's the thing. Only technically 60% of the population is unemployed. So that means 60% could leave the city. And obviously I don't want that to happen because I'm not far off losing money, if that makes sense. So let's think of other ways in which we can make money. So, right. Does parks and plazas provide employment opportunities? That will be interesting to find out. So I want something that's not too expensive. This uh, park with trees or small playground. I want something fairly big. Yeah, let's go for the park with trees and let's uh, let's just throw it down here. I've kind of just demolished a building there. But did that provide any more jobs? I feel like it didn't. But what will be interesting as well is can I... Yeah, I can create a path coming off it so we can use it as a cut through. It's quite a cool thing to do, isn't it? So how many how many jobs do we have? 2,134. Okay, let's go for a different type of one now. Um, where's the, I'm sure we got like a dirt one. I could be wrong. I think we've got to go past all the signs. Maybe I was wrong. Oh, I can do it this way, can't I? Other parks plazas. I want to make more paths, if that makes sense. If not, we'll use the same kind of one. Or should we go for No, let's go for this one. So this nice simple one here, I just drop down there. So, yeah, these don't provide any jobs. Okay, sweet. I'm just kind of create that there. So we create that little walkthrough, which is kind of nice. Um, okay, so that's interesting. They don't provide jobs, but it might... I've usually got them down as well, because it might cause some upgrades to some of the buildings. Everyone's fully moved in as well, so we could... We might possibly get to a 10,000 population, which is really interesting. The, the other thing as well is the population is still starting to grow, but our income, like the profit we're making a week, is not growing. Okay. 
So schools then. This will be another one. This is a huge expense, but at the same time, could it be job opportunities? So if I place one down, yes, it did provide jobs. So it provided a couple of jobs, which is pretty cool. It will educate the peeps, and it might cause some bonus to upgrade. I'm just hoping they're not relying on upgrades for the buildings for having commercial industrial stuff in. Because we seem to be getting away with it pretty sweet at the moment. So let's get a high school in. I'm only going to do one of each. Because, you know, it's going to be expensive. So it was at 160. Now up to 260. Did that really just give us an extra 100 jobs? That's pretty cool. So what's up? Our unemployment's still at 60% um, anyway. So it's not dipping down or getting worse. But then again, I have hired a few extra people. Uh, you can see the amount of people who have jobs because they're... Wow, this this hires a lot of people. You can all see them just standing there, just chilling. I didn't realize how many people this hired. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope because it provides employment opportunities. Okay, right. So, another way in which we can make money is via parks. But do parks offer employment opportunities? That's going to be another interesting one to find out. So what I will do now is kind of get rid of these. Say goodbye to those. They're not happy about it. But we're going to... I need to zone it first. We're going to place down now some parks. So we'll do two either side. So one there. One there. And we'll do two different types of ones as well. So we can have something a little bit different. So we'll go over City Park to begin with. And we'll have the entrance of it just pretty much there. Uh, we'll have a side entrance here and here. We'll have one here, here, and here. So let's just keep it nice and simple. Nothing too crazy. As simple as that, right? It's not too bad, is it? Which, this will also generate us money as well. So this is another way in which we can make money. So it was at 260. It's still at 260, but when I place these down, will this create job opportunities? It's at 260 for jo uh, jobs available. So it looks like no, unless I place down like, like um, a park cafe. Does that provide jobs? Hmm. No, okay. So none of these provide jobs. We have a park info booth. I would have thought this kind of stuff did provide jobs. So that's really interesting. Anyway, they're going to be using it to kind of get to places anyway. So that can really increase our job opportunities. Now, what I want to place in the other one is... Uh, where is it again? Parks. We'll go for a amusement park. Now, this has got to provide job opportunities, right? It, it feels like it should. It has to. Right, where's the other park gates? I right, want a side gate. That's what we're after. Right, there we go. Drop a couple of those down. Create our sweet little loop. Nice. Um, okay, so we are still at 260, by the way. Yes. So do these provide any job opportunities? Placing down rides. That would be interesting. Um, I placed down a couple and put some restrooms down just to kind of make it more appetizing to come and uh, to this place. That's kind of the wrong one I placed down, the wrong side. on it against the, uh, the path. I don't think it's right that it's too close to that, but that's quite a lot of stuff now in here, the, in the park. So let's up this. And jobs-wise, no. Okay, so they don't provide employment opportunities, but what they do provide is a great source of income to make sure that, because we've only got residents, that it keeps the city alive. And no one seems to be complaining about wanting to leave. I think because there is some hope that there is some jobs out there available that they will take them. Um, okay, so, yeah, I, 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 right, should, do we place down a university right now? 
Ooh. Right, we'll place it down. It's a lot of money. But we seem to be handling it just fine with the increase of the two parks. We're up to 8,000 a week profit. Which is really good. I think we're getting away with this. I think it is possible to build a city solely based on the fact that it's only residential. So why don't we um, risk it for the chocolate biscuit right now and do a little bit of expansion. So what was that? That was 40. I have to go 40 this way. That's where it will lead us out to. Alright, so we're pretty much going to double this one side here. Now, it will make the unemployment gap bigger because obviously we're not we're not adding any more jobs in. But what we are doing is adding more residents residents in. There we go. And uh, that's going to make us more money. So we'll do this side to begin with. So we're only redoing the inside here. Let's do the outskirts as well. There we go. So every gap we've now got on both sides. Let's get some residents in. That's going to create a huge influx again. We might even push it now to like a 15,000 population city. No, we will. I mean 20,000, sorry. Because that's a lot of housing we're now getting in. And uh, we've got a lot of... Uh, where are they all driving to, by the way? I think now because they're getting a little bit of money, they feel a little bit um, fancy now and they feel like they can drive to work. <laughs> I feel like that's, what they, that's the kind of m uh, momentum they're going for right now. So why don't we bring this up? by 40 make uh, this road go up as well up to there and I wonder if many people will use this road probably probably not we'll see just gonna get the traffic going a different route yeah they, they're gonna be using it so whoever uses this route up here is not using this route down here so that'll be interesting to see. Anyway, 14,000 is how much we're making a week right now. And remember, we've got no commercial or no industrial zoning down whatsoever. It's all residential. Okay, so we get a little bit of issues now with the sewage. So before we place a new one down... We oh, 386! Okay, so the um, the extra... what did, The university place uh, provided more jobs. So let's get this down then for more sewage. Oh, so 386. Will that provide more? I don't think those provide jobs, to be honest. Yeah, I thought so. They don't provide jobs, but we've got more sewage outlet now. Uh, parks are upgrading, which is really cool to see. More and more people. Okay, a lot of vehicles are now trying to get into the city as well. So this is really cool, isn't it? It is really cool. Um... So I think it's it's actually a success. It is actually possible to build a city without placing down any commercial or industrial. And my buildings are upgrading as well. So I don't need to rely on those. I can have like a fully featured city with none of the commercial industry and none of the problems. I mean, there is a problem with unemployed. Oh, unemployment's gone down to 40%. I wonder why that is then. Is it because a lot of the population is like technically young? So they don't need jobs? I don't know. It's interesting, isn't it? Or is it because they're still waiting for people to actually get in before they start applying for their jobs and stuff? That's what it could be. Should we make it a little bit interesting for these guys? If I stand by two. And then up like that. I could create something like this. Would they use it? To go down and round and in? Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll say that this only this road can go that way. You might sort, sort some lane management out a little bit earlier. So you get a few of them that use it. 
you do get a few. I mean, I can make it even easier for him as well, just kind of creating like a straight road across. You know, that's a little bit awkward now. A little bit awkward placing, but just kind of gets him into the city a little bit quicker. Um, again, it works perfect. I'm actually now making 24,000, 23,000 a week in profit. It's glorious. We're going to be pushing the 20,000 population city as well, guys. How crazy is that? It's kind of amazing. It's kind of pretty sweet. Um, so with a little bit of money then, why don't we kind of create like a bulkier version for the police and stuff like that? So if I was to kind of, um, let's see, drop one up there. Fire brigade, a little bulkier one up here. A little bulkier hospital. Uh, they're going to need water and power. So I just kind of place one of these here to kind of bring them all together. So that provides more jobs. Of course it does. It's a 2,706 right now. But provides ultimately more services. Is the key thing you want to take from this. So it's, and you can see as well, it's like, it says mostly adults versus green, mostly families. It's mostly families living in the city. So that's probably why the unemployment seems a little bit low because, you know, if it's mostly families, the majority of the population is either adults or children and they're either being educated or they're going to work. So that's why it seems like a, almost like a... It, I mean, it's going back to 60%, but it's almost like a 50... Well, it's kind of close to a 50-50 split. But um, new services anyway, which is really cool to see. Lots of population, over 20,000. Not a single commercial or industrial zone. And I thought we we're going to have to add in the industrials like for the farming and the mining and like the wood stuff and the oil. But no. We don't need to do it. You can actually create a fully functional city solely from residents. Who would have thought of that? Not me. I thought we were going to have a lot of issues, but they seem to like it. Right, if I pick someone random here, they're unemployed. Of course they are. <laughs> so have they got the money to go visit the park? And these, these make, that's 12,000. That's 14,000. So without these true parks, we could possibly be losing money, but you've got to take advantage of what the game has to offer you. It's really what you've got to do. Should I get rid of traffic lights here to keep it flowing? It's crazy, man. It really is. I mean, the traffic's being caused by these trying to get past because people are crossing the road. So what I could do, guys, is say to them, on these junction restrictions, you may not cross there. I mean, it kind of solves it to a certain degree because they go around here now. Which is fairly interesting. I could solve it with doing like bridges over. But it's not, I mean, it's not even an important issue, really, is it? It's not even an important issue. Um, guys, this is amazing. This is actually amazing. We have a fully upgrading city, which these buildings are on stage two at the moment. You've got ones over here upgrading to stage three. Oh my goodness me, it is all happening right now. No one seems to be moaning, complaining, or whinging. We're making lots of money a week. Solid population. 25,000. No issues. I mean, unemployment's an issue, but they don't seem to care. <laughs> it's actually 64% now. Oh my goodness me. They don't seem to care, which is really interesting. So I think this experiment has been a huge success. If anybody ever creates like a, like a 100,000 population city with no commercial industry... I've got to see this 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 game file. Send it me on Twitter or Discord or something like that. That would be crazy. But there you go, guys. A fully functional city only using residential. Hope you did enjoy it, guys. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So good. Bye.